Hi guys, this video is about the origin of common English names. For some people learning English as a second language, these common names are quite foreign or unfamiliar. So let's look at the proper names and where they come from and then nicknames that people have. So many men are named after parts of the Bible. In the Christian Bible, there are different chapters or books. There's the book of Matthew, the book of Luke, the book of John. And these are uh, important parts of the Bible, so people will get a name from their family that refers to this because they're proud of this tradition of Christianity. So that's why you meet so many people named John. <laughs> it's one of the most famous books in the Bible. So I listed a lot of those names below in this uh, written part for the video. The other thing that is um, challenging in English is nicknames. So people will have a proper name and then maybe have a nickname. For example, my true name is William and I got that name because I was named after my grandfather's brother. And he was an important guy in my life and so uh, I was named after him uh, part of a tradition in our family. But as a kid my nickname was Billy. So someone named William might be preferred to be called William, but I was known as Billy. Or someone named William might be Bill, or Will, or Willie. These shorter names, or nicknames, or play names are considered to be uh, funnier, or less formal, or they're used within a family. So I listed a number of those also below on this video, these most common names. Some people prefer to be called by their formal name. I, my best friend is named Michael, never Mike or Mikey. He thinks it sounds uh, more formal or uh, more serious and that's what we always call him. My sister Susan, it, we call Susan. That's what she prefers to be called, not Sue or Susie. The other people in my family, we shorten their name. Abigail is Abby. <laughs> Deborah is Debbie. But it's up to that person. If you ask them what they like to be called, then you can call them as they prefer to be addressed. The list below will give you some of these common nicknames so you know that James can be called Jim or Jimmy <laughs> and Robert can be Rob or Robbie or Bob or Bobby. English is very complicated, but these lessons I find are not really taught in high school or university, but they're important for knowing someone's name and remembering how to say it and how they preferred to be called. So please subscribe to these videos to get more tips and techniques on learning English, how it's really spoken uh, in school or in the office, so you can sound like a native speaker. Thanks so much for watching always.